Hi everyone, Mr. Dave here, and uh, for this video I'll be going through and actually showing you how to build and customize um, your build for the Motion software, uh, if you'd like to actually do that. So we're going to start by actually going over and to the Motion homepage. up to our documentations and bring up the build. So in previous videos we've uh, shown how to actually do a dev package. Uh, the abbreviated build instructions are five or six lines associated with uh, really getting to really short version. And then uh, the, the distribution specific building goes into a bit more detail associated with um, how to actually use the configure, how to actually use the make um, options, as well as getting into details regarding um, each one of the distributions um, that have been documented regarding how to actually install. So I'll bring up the abbreviated ones just so that uh, you can see. So these uh, basically correspond to very, very short. Uh, it assumes you actually know uh, how to generally build software. Uh, it indicates the required packages, clone the software, and then auto reconfig, config, and make, and then make install. Uh, down here is the actual more detailed versions, and it provides uh, a bit more detail associated with how to actually include the various software for the database options, um, JPEG Turbo, WebP support, um, and you can decide whether to include these or not on the build uh, that you're doing of the Motion software. So we'll start by just getting the required ones. I'm currently working on a 1804 machine. So we'll open up a terminal. Um, this machine's already gone through and been updated with all the basic. You always want to make sure to start off with doing this on any sort of build. Uh, it's, it just makes things so much easier. Make sure all of the other software is up, updated before you get into the motion stuff. So we'll actually get the required packages. And we will make sure to include the SQLite 3 on this particular one. Now Motion will actually go through and look for uh, the required software. Uh, the SQLite 3 has actually already been installed on this particular computer via some of the other videos that actually have been created. Next, we'll actually uh, go off to our motion uh, directory that we actually created in a previous video. And We'll grab, go back over to our guide, and go up and make sure to grab our software. So it's actually created the directory here called motion. This actually contains all of the source code associated with the motion software. Now we're going to go through and do a little bit of customization on this. So this is all the packages. And I always like to actually do a forced reconfig uh, just to make sure. Now 
that's forced for bows. And if you want all of the default options, you can actually just do a configure as is. But we're going to be customizing this a bit. So I want to use the prefix option, which is going to say, where will it actually install things? And let's try How about without MySQL? And without PGSQL. This is all whatever you want to do associated with your particular custom build. So you press the go, enter, and it will actually indicate some of the summary options here, which will actually indicate that MySQL has not been included in this particular bill, nor the PGSQL. So if we actually did it again without that particular parameter, you would see it's actually now included in the particular bill. So we'll go back to this. We'll go back to the one. Okay, so we're the ones without those two, and we do have SQL Lite 3 support associated with it. Once the configure has actually been run, what you will do is then actually uh, just type in make. And you can use various make options. This actually just makes it multi-threaded. And that's how it's make. And then one more step, make install. And it'll actually show that it has actually installed it into the specific location that I wanted and specified associated with the prefix. So we now have an Ascetra directory as well as a share and a bin directory here. It's not really a standard location for the software to be installed, but the, the uh, purpose of this particular one was to show how you can actually customize your configure to install uh, wherever you'd like. Now, you would have to actually start it up by specifying that particular location. So that's actually running the one that's actually was just built associated with it. Um, so if you get outside of that particular directory structure, it's not going to find that since this really isn't part of the path. And that's how you go through and actually customize um, the build. Um, within the documentation, it does indicate uh, a lot of the extra configuration options. Um, normally, I would just use the defaults associated with it unless I specifically wanted to exclude a particular package that's already been installed on, on the computer.